serious. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to learn how to um, tame our brows with Lisa Casper. Lisa Casper is the founder and CEO. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought we were being serious now, Lisa. Come on. <laughs> well, she is. That is hilarious. A Pure Vita Westlake, which is where I go once a month to get facials and a sugaring on my eyebrows. We're pouting because I haven't gone since COVID hit. Um, but, but Lisa, I'm going to ask you some questions about that. But in addition to, I said I go for facials and sugaring. Um, also, I go for spray tans. I know some of you that have, or Kimberly and Krista have had tans from her before. Um, but she also does a lot of other services. So before we dive in, Lisa, tell us about all of your services. Oh, wow. All of my services. All of your services. So right now, a big thing that I'm doing a lot of is the dermaplaning. That's where I take the scalpel and I scrape off two to three weeks of the dead skin cells. So all your vela, it also includes all your vellus hair. So it's like a deep exfoliation for your skin. Um, so your makeup goes on smoother, your products go on more effectively. So that's a big one people are doing right now. I swear I'm able, I am now open. I got to open, um, oh, yeah. May 10th, I think, May 8th. It was that Friday after Cinco de Mayo, whatever day that was, 7th or 8th, something like that. And so I'm super excited to be open again. But the number one service is brows, bikinis, and dermal planning. Everyone's like, get the hair off on all the places. <laughs> so I have been doing that. I'm also doing tons of spray tans right now. Also a big service for the summer is I'm doing um, lash and brow tinting. So it's basically like I dye your lashes or, or your brows. Um, because especially yeah. if you're light, if you're light skinned or fair or your brows are, are super blonde, it just makes your eyes pop and like people are getting in the pool and doing the summer thing. And so it just, they've been doing a lot of that. So a lot of tinting, um, I do sugaring rather than waxing, which is similar, but different. It's a sugar lemon uh, water and it adheres to the hair, not the skin. So there's no chance of lifting your skin. So I usually get a cleaner surface. Um, and then I do microneedling, which is a collagen induction therapy, which is 12 hypodermic needles. And I um, put just kind of like a sonic hair and I do it all over your face and your body goes to heal itself and it produces more collagen. So it kind of gives you that plumping sensation. It also is great for um, scarring, fine lines and wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. So um, I have a lot of clients that maybe have had some acne issues and once we get them cleared up, they've got some scarring, we'll kind of get that in even with like a kids and you know, high schoolers and get that scarring, you know, nip that in the bud pretty quick. So they're not having to deal with that later on in life. Um, what else? Those are pretty much my core. In the winter, in the, in the winter time, I do chemical peels, but I only do those October through April because of the heat and I do facials um, airbrush tans and I'm um, sugaring. Those are my kind of my core services. Well, so Lisa, you said that you're open again. Um, and you already had shared some of your safety measures with me. What, how, what are you doing different? So for me, the biggest thing I'm trained to do this, like this is something I, I, I say this all the time. I literally put my life in danger every single day. Like I put my life at risk every day because I'm in people's faces all day, every day. So for me, I mean, everything is sanitized with hospital grade sanitation. And I've been doing that my whole, the, I mean, as long as I've been in business, the biggest change for me is the scheduling. So it doesn't affect you. It's all on my end. Like I scheduling, I make sure that no one crosses in the, in the waiting room. Um, I wipe, in addition to everything else, I wipe down. I, I'm also wiping down my doors coming in and out of my space, the outside doors from the outside to the inside. And then we're in also the bathroom. And we're all kind of doing that, all the people in my, in my like um, office suite. So it's been really like, we all feel very comfortable. Um, I always know it's clean when I go in there. So it's been good. We're all just kind of doing our part to make every, make our clients feel safe. Um, it's also nice that it is just me. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like uh, I've got my hair done because she came to me. I have not been to hair, nail salon that kind of, I'm not ready for that, but there's a girl down the hall. That's just one. She's like me. So I have been to her to get a pedicure because the be people are safer feel, are more comfortable coming to me. Cause it's just you and I like it's, it's, there's not 10 of us in there. It's just the two of us. And so that is definitely, I wear a mask the entire time. If you're getting a facial, obviously you're not wearing a mask. If you're going to spray tan. You're obviously not wearing a mask. But other, if like brows, whatever, other things, you can wear a mask, bikini. If it, I'm like your comfort level. I wear a mask, you wear your comfort level. So anyway, so it's been good. Um, I had, a, and I knew this was going to happen. I had a big 
rush right at the beginning. Literally, the reason why I know it was a Friday for Cinco de Mayo is I'm literally on my phone, Cinco de Mayo, thinking, what am I going to drink? It's three o'clock in the afternoon. And my phone starts blowing up. I had no idea the governor was even addressing the state. And they're like, are you open? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, And I was going to be able to open on Friday and I had no idea. So I literally spent all night booking appointments. So I had a huge rush that, you know, then. And then three weeks later, another like kind of like people were kind of waiting a little bit of rush. It's like 4th of July is next week. People are kind of starting to travel a little bit. Um, Kids are going to camp. So I'm seeing some of them before that. It's kind of, you know, like it's trickling. Honestly, I went from not working at all. I'm not ready to do 12 and 14 hour days. So I'm very happy with where I am. Like I, I have a life again, which is awesome. And so I, I mean, I'm happy to be working. So, so happy to be working, but I'm not ready to kill myself again. There's no reason for that. I have a, I have a new perspective on that. So that's good. <laughs> Quality of life. So can yeah. we ask, how long does the brow tinting last? Okay. It is, um, so brows last about four, four to five weeks. Cause brows, it just fades lashes as your lashes fall out. That's when you lose your color. So that's usually like four to six weeks. What is involved in brow tinting? So literally I just, it's a, it's a dye that's safe for the face. It's not the same as like you would put on your hair and I literally just put it on. I let it process and then I wipe it off. That's awesome. Well, so let's kind of dive into on sure. the on the theme of brows. So yeah, I mean, I think what a lot of us are dealing with is like clean lines right now sure. and shaping. So why don't we start sure. with shape? Give us some shape tips. Sure. So shaping lines. Okay, I'm, I've got my handy dandy. This is a dry mascara wand. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. They're just good to have. Just kind of you know brush your brows and keep them in, in like keep them from getting crazy. But you you've probably heard this, this is the standard, is you take from the side of your nose straight up. So anything that's on this side, hold on, you wanna get rid of any of that. So anything like between these brows, that's what you're gonna want to tweeze out. Another good, when you are tweezing, have a good sharp pair of tweezers. I have Tweezerman's, Um, it's my go-to just because they will sharpen them for free and I have like six pairs of them. If you hold your skin taut, like really pull it and then do it, it, it hurts so much less. Cause everyone's like, how come you're, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it does hurt. Holly cries the whole time. She hates it, but it hurts less if I do it than you do because I'm holding that skin tight and I'm grabbing them from the bottom and pulling them out, flicking them out fast. So you want to grab it from the bottom and pull it in the direction of the growth. But if you hold that skin tight, it will make it less painful and it'll come out a little bit faster. So the shape, so when you're looking at you, so put the, I mean, you can use a pen. Like I actually, before Carly brought me that, I had this. So here's the pen. So anything over you want to get, that's what you want to get rid of. When you're trying to figure out where your art should be, you're going to take it from the side of your nose to, I'm just, cause I can't see by my eyes, to your, the outside of your pupil. And that is where your arch is going to be. So from there, so when you're looking at your brows, like clean up whatever is off the top um, that's just looks scraggly and then anything on the bottom that, you know, needs to go, but then take one line of you'll see, I mean, your brows are in lines. You take one line all the way off. That will give you that clean line. And then if you'll do this and then take two to three lines for like, just, it's probably, I'm trying to think like measurement wise, I would say as wide as this brush or as wide as a pen, two to three lines, and that would be where your arch is. Does that make sense? So kind of in that, where you, where you determine where your arch is based on where your pupil is, just from your nose, like two to three lines in like a, I mean, less than like a half inch space. And then from here over is kind of where you determine. At our age, we very rarely have it where it's too long. We're, our brows are, we're starting to lose them at the end. So you just want to keep that just cleaned and keep your line straight. Like you, this is where you're going to have like your scragglers, stragglers, just tweeze those, but then keep your line as much because this is what starts leaving us as we age, unfortunately. Another thing with this cute little uh, mascara wand, dry mascara wand, especially if you haven't been anywhere is the, is the brushing them and trimming them. So I have these scissors are actual, uh, actually the, the rounded points. And so I'm not so worried about 
like jabbing my eye. So I can brush down and then trim and then brush up and trim. So if you see, like when you brush up and you see like, oh, that you'll see, you're going to know what's too much. And when you brush down, you're going to know what's too much. I mean, boys, ugh, that's, I used to always be like, it's hard for me to take you seriously when your brow is waving at me. Um, so I, that's why I always have these because it's more for the boys. And I was going to have, be able to like clean mine up, but I, for y'all, but I cleaned mine up last week. So sorry. Um, so that's kind of like the shape wise. Like I, when people would text me during COVID, like, what should I be on brows? I'm like, let, leave them alone. Less is more. Uh, but I understand we're on Zoom. And so people, but so less is always going to be more in this instance. I'm like, just keep it clean. And then that one line all the way around and then find your, but if you're, if the arch doesn't feel right to you right now, then just leave it and do, you know, do that later. But that's kind of my, um, that's my rule of thumb is where, the, where that location is. Does that make sense? Why are you laughing? Because y'all are funny. But I, I do have pictures of this. So when I do the follow-up, I've got some good, I told Holly, I was like, um, clearly I'm not tech savvy. She's like, do me show you? I'm like, no, cause it's on my phone and I'm on my computer, but I've got pictures of how to like determine where that is. Like all of the, the lines and like what to clean up as far as whenever you're doing the line and above and below. Okay. So you said tweezerman for your tweezers. What um, brand are the rounded little scissors? Tweezerman as well. They're okay. tweezerman. Mm -hmm. And then Lisa, what, tell us, I mean, this isn't something that you do and not anything I need because my brows are so crazy thick, but why do people get their eyebrows threaded and what does that mean? So threading is a form of hair removal as well. It's, um, people that don't want to wax, honestly, I don't, like, I feel like it's the same as tweezing. They're like, no, it's so much different. It's threading is an, is a cultural, uh, it's culturally like people, they, I think it's, I'm not, don't even quote me where I want to say it's India, I believe, but it's very cultural. Like it's, it's, they learn that and that's what they do. And, um, it hurts like a son of a gun. Like it is painful, but it doesn't have, you don't have, it doesn't pull the skin. Like as far as waxing does, I think it's very similar to, to, uh, to tweezing ish, but it's, they, people that, that thread swear it's not, but I think it's very similar. Okay. But it's, it's more, if you don't want to wax. Got it. Got it. And then like, we've got the, all, you have all those baby fine, you know, hairs. Like that's, that's one reason why you sugar mark. Another reason to get all those off. It's pretty hard to tweeze those, but they, they thread those as well too. Okay. Awesome. So tweezerman scissors, tweezerman tweezers. Just that's a, my, just a sharp pair of tweezers. And, and just the slant edge. I think the needle nose are a little too, the, even as a professional, I use those very rarely because they're pretty tough to like get a good, um, to get a good grip on. Okay. So then what can you, I mean, if you get irritated, what do you recommend putting on top of your eyelashes or your eyebrows? After eyebrows. If you get irritated, I would just do like a calming salute, anything cal like a calming lotion. Like if it's irritated, like you, like it looks like it, it feels like you have an allergic reaction because sometimes that people are like, Oh, I don't do my lip because I have, I get, I break out. You're not actually breaking out. You're actually having an allergic reaction. Your body's going, what the heck? And it's sending histamines. So an antihistamine is something you might take to bring that down. But also like you could do a hydrocortisone cream on your brows. For me, I'm more of just like a polysporin. I, I, I prefer polysporin over neosporin because it's water-based. And so I feel like it's not so uh, poor clogging. So like a polysporin type ant, uh, antiseptic. Awesome. Does anybody else have questions for Miss Lisa? Um, okay. So <laughs> I, don't, I do. I don't have any to spare. I have like a brush right. powder on them right now, which is why I look like I have some. But... So I don't ever want to be plucking any because sure. I, need, I need them. But on sure. both sides, I get my thickest, best hair that I want to keep, and it just sticks straight out, and I have no choice. I have to pluck it. I, there's or no way. Or just it. Then it's sticking straight out just a little bit. Yeah. So there's no, like, I try and kink it with the tweeze, and it doesn't, like, I try to save them, but I have to pluck it every time because it's just. Have you tried like a, like, I mean, for literally like a gel or something like that? No. Like there's a, there's a brow gel and it's clear that you can put on. Okay. 
I'll have to look. Try that because it's it, it literally is like a gel. Kimberly, I'll send you a picture. Leah, who did the um, make, yeah the makeup facelift, she had me get one, and I like it a lot. I need a makeup good. facelift. I need that. <laughs> oh my god! Video is on hollyhappyhour.com. Oh, okay, it was the Lisa. first one. Yeah, it was the first one. I have two questions. Okay. First, when I Botox, when I get my Botox redone, uh -huh. my eyebrows, I swear to you, change shapes. For absolutely a hundred percent. Okay. So that's hundred percent. Yes. Because they they kind of it makes it look like I have more of an arch in my correct. Eye. Correct. That is, that's why a lot of people do. And so that's why they have to, you have to be careful with where that Botox is put in because if they don't, if they don't do it at the same spot on both sides, you're going to have an uneven arch. A hundred percent. I think it might've been Holly's ACA year when I got some Botox for the first time and they overdid it and I couldn't make a facial expression for, so like March. That's good. It, was, it lasts a long time. You get your money's worth. <laughs> oh, I need to be able to raise my eyebrows at people though. I know. So that was my next question. Are you ever going to offer Botox? I don't even just... do it for myself. Okay. So. I know. I have to, and also do you have, do you be, have a medical license, which I don't. Oh, we lost Krista. She had two questions. Kimberly, I can send you a recommendation for Botox as well. Okay, good. I hope I didn't interrupt her. No, she's, yeah, she's fine. She, I think she was in transit. She's fine. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. What's your other, what was your other question? I can't hear you. Hey, Krista, you don't have good reception. Okay. She, she just, mute. did you mute, did you mute her or did she mute herself? She mute herself. Okay. Um, but yes, definitely Botox will definitely, cause when you, um, do that, oh, how do you, how do I know to trim? When you brush them down, literally, like if they are, if you brush down and you just push them down and they're past the comb, once I push it down, I trim at the comb. Like that's how much I trim. I mean, if it's, if when you brush down and they're past the bottom, that's what I trim. Same thing when I go up, if it's past the comb, that's where I trim. So once I like, and I literally just am pushing it down and then trimming that. So that's on both and both directions. So that's kind of the gauge. Just push down a little bit and then trim at the comb or just below the comb. So the way she worded it, comb width is the best practice, Krista's the asking? Yes, yes, correct, comb width. So when, yes, once you, once you do it, then, uh, and then if you, you, you can use any scissors, it's just nice with the, with the, um, with the rounded ones, because you're not so scared, it, it, I mean, you're not so scared to poke your eye out. Thank you, he said. <laughs> Anything any else? Other questions? Okay, awesome. Well, we will get you the list of everyone that yeah, signed up. I will send everything, and I'll also send those pictures. I'll send you links, and I'll also put the brow gel on there as well. So okay. I'll uh, put that as well. Um, I love seeing y'all's faces. I love seeing your face. Let me stop.